Just describe to me the scam that went on. Totally. Uh, so this is the big story about uh, Quintillion and their founder, Elizabeth Pierce, uh, who spent uh, the last couple of years selling the world on this vision of building a Northwest Passage for the Internet. It would speed up the web for much of the planet. It would close the digital divide. And she raised hundreds of millions of dollars from investors uh, and convinced state and government officials. She convinced the population of Alaska, a bunch of telecoms, that this would really change the game for the Internet. And, and as well as for the telecom space. But uh, as was revealed in, the, in recent years, it turns out she actually forged $1 billion in uh, sales contracts from customers. And actually, she just went to jail for that last week. So this is really unraveling. And this is the story of how she committed that fraud and what the future is for this network in the Arctic. So how did she do it? How did she get away with it for so long? Uh, a lot of people describe her as, as uh, it, it, it coming down to her tenacity. Uh, this is someone who was not only just ferocious about her project like any Silicon Valley entrepreneur would be, but she was also incredibly defensive. Whenever people ever uh, looked into the project or provided scrutiny of it, she would always push back. Uh, she, uh, she kept her sales contracts in uh, a Google Cloud account that only she had a password to. She kept all direct uh, contact with her sales partners just one on one. She wouldn't let her investors or other employees into that. Uh, she was very secretive about the whole project. But at the same time, you can only sell investors on uh, these large scale services contracts uh, until the bail bills start going out to customers. And that's when uh, a lot of red flags kept going up in Alaska. So, Austin, what happens now in Alaska with the fiber optic cables? So I, I spent a lot of time up there, both in Anchorage as well as in Barrow, Alaska, which is the most northern part of the community uh, uh, of the U.S. And they've actually built this uh, Alaska pipeline. It, it's, it's pretty magical when you see it. They, they, I mean, if you think about how difficult with all the ice up there to build something like this in the Arctic, they've actually built it around the coast, but they haven't yet connected it to Asia to Europe, which is a longer term goal. That will take roughly $800 million. But if they do, a lot of analysts believe that could lower latency and speed up the web, which would have huge applications for cloud players, high frequency traders. There's a lot of upside to that uh, sort of network, which is one of the reasons why investors were sold on it in the first place.